That was me this morning. Uh, I bet a bunch of you guys are having coffee right now. Or tea. Whichever. I prefer tea. How many of you guys came to class today and said something like, I'm so tired. Or, oh, I didn't get enough sleep. Or, I just want my bed right now. just want to cuddle with my pillow. I know I did. And that, dear friends, is my pet peeve. Lack of sleep. I hate it. So, why exactly did you not get enough sleep? Maybe because you were being a good student and decided to study for a midterm that you might have. Maybe you had a romantic movie date with your couch. Right? Right? Don't you lie. Maybe you wanted to play Slender in the dark. Or you live in Ottawa and there's a bunch of construction right outside your window. Either way, you're expected to focus, to function, and to pay attention the next day. I don't think so, buddy. Not going to happen, okay? So what happens? You miss out on the important points your prof makes. You maybe even miss a class. That means you have to build up more energy to send out an email because you had a family emergency. So what kind of consequences can this have? It can dumb you down, meaning you might get bad grades. Maybe you might get into an accident. And it can even lead to serious health issues. Now let's take this up a step. If you're in my forensic psych class, you probably remember a case that we talked about. Or not, maybe you decided to burn your notes and brainwash yourself after the midterm. But the case was about a young fellow named Hoylet. Now what happened with him was that he was falsely convicted of a crime. His confession was coercely compliant, meaning it was completely involuntary. Now here's the glitch. When the police officers interrogated him, they did so with the full knowledge that he was completely sleep deprived. Now thankfully the officers were deterred after that, but Hoylet did have to spend 15 years in jail because of it. Dog, that sucks. Okay, I'm not saying that sleep deprivation is gonna get you into a conviction or anything. That would mean no one would be in class right now and I made this video for no reason. But the international consensus is that prolonged sleep deprivation does constitute torture. For me personally, noise pollution is very torturous uh, because there's construction right outside my window. Now, this can create, what, health issues? It can lower the quality of life and it can devalue real estate. Now, lack of sleep can lead to a decrease in daily functioning, meaning it can impact the overall performance of a country, which is not what we want, unless it's a positive impact, of course. Now, this could be because, like, a poor person living in a slum in Mumbai or in Nairobi, that there's too much noise outside or there's, there's just too many people sharing their space. Or maybe, like, in Damascus, there's conflict outside and people are just fearing for their lives. Oh, that was attractive. Now, here's an example of an international guideline on sleep. All right, well, that's it for my presentation and uh Halloween seems like a pretty good night not to get any sleep, so happy Halloween! People are looking at me weird. They're staring at me. Hi! FaceTime! Yeah! Oh na na, what is my name? Oh na na, what is my name? What am I going the right way? Yes I am, okay good. Okay, cool. And we're back and alive.